Hi everyone, Coach Nicole here. Um, I have a special guest, Mia, with me. <laughs> um, she's sitting so nicely because I bribed her with carrots. She loves her veggies. <laughs> um, I also lost my cameraman, so I am solo today, so you're just sitting on a table. <laughs> Um, but I want to share with you today how you can make a really fun golf game at home. Uh, this would be for putting. Um, so the supplies you'll need to make this is a box. Any size would work. Um, the bigger the better, um, but whatever size could work as well. Um, I have a pair of scissors and I have some different colored Sharpies just so that I can decorate it and make it fun looking. Um, and But you could use obviously um, any kind of crayons or markers, colored pencils, anything you want, paint, doesn't matter. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get your box and you want to first cut. I already cut the bottom, but you want to cut the bottom uh, flaps off first. Um, and then with the top flaps, I just folded mine down. Um, so I just folded all of them down. Um, but you can cut them off too if you want. I just didn't feel like it. So next thing you want to do is you want to cut the squares at the very bottom because um, you're going to be putting to the box so you can make as many boxes as you want um, personally i'm going to make five um, and you want to make them different sizes so that um you can it's going to be so you're going to have points for it so the smaller the square the harder it will be to put it into it, so that'll be worth more points than a larger square. So I'm gonna go cut these squares and we'll be right back. I've cut my box now, so this is how I cut it. So you wanna make sure that you're cutting the sizes to the kind of ball that you're going to use to put into it. So I'm using golf balls to put into it, but you can use anything. You can also size it to a tennis ball. This one's dirty because it's Mia's ball. Um, she's probably mad that I took it from her. <laughs> but so you're going to cut it and I cut five, but you can cut as you can cut it however you want. Make the sizes as big and small as you want. Um, so once you cut all of your squares, um, you want to make sure that you cut it through the bottom, uh, so you can see how I cut a whole thing at the bottom, because when you rest it on the ground, you're going to be putting into it. So you want to make sure that those are gone. And so now I'm going to decorate it a little bit, come up with a point system and I'll be right back. I just decorated my box. So now I have it, um, I have my point up here for which one. I have 10 points for the small one, five points for the medium sized one, and then three points for the large one um, because it's a lot harder to get it in here than it is in the big one. Um, so now I'm going to set it up and show you guys how to play. Now set up my box so that we can practice with. So, um, as stated in the last one, I have 10 points on the side, um, 5 points for the medium square, and 3 points for the large square. So now you can be any distance you want, um, and I have a bucket of golf balls for me just for myself but you only need one golf ball um, I have multiple just so I don't have to keep grabbing it every time so now I can play Ooh, got three points
that is my new putting game. So now I can use this to practice and you can create a competition with it. It'll be really fun. Also, try to make that homemade putter and try it with that. All right, and that's pretty much it for this video. Have a great time.